hello guys i'm sorrow and welcome to this first video on anglo 2 series for absolute beginners in this series we will be learning anglo 2 framework from scratch so if you guys are new to angular and wish to learn angular 2 framework i suggest this is a good place uh, i suggest you to go through the entire series till the last video and by the end of the series you will be good to start developing in angular 2 so let's take a quick introduction on Angular. It's an advanced JavaScript based framework for front end development. Angular 2 was launched back in September 2016 by the Google team. And if you wish to read the official announcement by the team, you can uh, go through that announcement on this URL on AngularJS uh, official blog. So, AngularJS is written in TypeScript and it supports ES6. It's currently the most popular framework for developing single page applications. And if you guys wish to read more about API documentation, uh, uh, please read that at angular.io slash uh, docs. So let's quickly discuss what's the agenda for this web series. In this series, we'll be creating and understanding an Angular application architecture, what all it takes to uh, get ready with an Angular 2 application. Uh, we'll be learning about various entities in Angular applications and how they uh, interrelate with each other. We'll be learning about Angular components, Angular services. We'll be writing and understanding Angular directives. We'll be using Angular forms. We'll be uh, using Angular routing. And then finally, we will uh, learn the concept of observables and how are they used in Angular 2. So uh, let's discuss what are the prerequisites for this web series. For this series, guys, you will be in needing an understanding of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. You will be needing a basic understanding of the way web application behaves. Then you will be needing an understanding on TypeScript and uh, and the knowledge of new JS utilities added in ES6. So if you guys are not aware of what TypeScript is or if you haven't heard the word ES6 before, there is perfectly no need to worry about that. I will be discussing that in the video when and where, uh, wherever required. Uh, following that, you will be needing a JavaScript editor. If you guys use Sublime Text, that's fine. If someone of you uses uh, brackets, that will do too. I will be using Visual Studio uh, because that is what I normally use for my coding and but any editor of your choice will do even if you wish to go through uh, notepad plus plus that will also do we just need an editor to edit our html and javascript code and finally we need a web browser so guys that's all uh, we need for this uh, entire web series please note that uh, we don't need any uh, any advanced understanding of AngularJS or any understanding at all of AngularJS. If you guys are new to Angular, you haven't worked uh, ever in Angular before this, that's perfectly okay. Angular, AngularJS and Angular 2 are two completely different framework. Uh, so uh, you don't have to have a good understanding of AngularJS to learn or to code in Angular 2. Also from the official documentation from Angular team or the official announcement, AngularJS and Angular 2 will be treated as two different frameworks. Angular 1.0 versions uh, will be called AngularJS for the consistency on the web since there are a lot many articles on web which already uh, refers Angular framework as AngularJS. So to keep them intact, Angular 1.0 versions or anything on Angular 1.0 will be kept calling AngularJS and all new upcoming versions uh, following Angular 2, Angular 4 or whatever comes in market, that all will be called uh, just Angular. So in this entire web series, I'll be using the term Angular and that should refer to Angular 2. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll get to work. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.